Good morning, it's me Jamie, Tales from the Coop Keeper here. I just woke up, I am serious. I have not combed my hair, I have not brushed my teeth, I'm still in my pajamas. I wanted to show you how to make this turkey sausage because I have gotten four or five emails just this very week on how to make this sausage. Everybody is wanting to know how to look as fabulous as I look and this is one of the secrets to my success. You need to get protein in your pie hole within two hours of waking up in the morning. This is my absolute go-to breakfast. I'm, kind of, I'm a bit lost if I don't have this made. Um, so anyhow, I'm gonna show you how to make it. It's so quick. I actually have to leave for a doctor's appointment in 20 minutes and I'm actually taking the time to do this because it is so quick. I think I've not been looking at the right spot this whole time. Okay, I'm gonna look there. Okay, what you need to have is one pound of turkey breast, ground, ground turkey breast. Make sure it says on the package turkey breast. Otherwise you get just the ground turkey and just regular ground turkey is higher in fat because the skin and the dark meat is ground in there which seriously makes me gag to even think of it. Uh, I just can't eat that at all. Ground turkey breast, beautiful nice lean meat. What I also like about this, I just bought this last night uh, which was October 27th I, I'm, it's Friday. Today's Friday, October, right before Halloween. I don't know what date it is today. 29th. Today's October 29th. And it says to use it by November 6th. So that's quite a long time that you have, but this is still good. So when I mix it up today, it's going to last me five days. So I'll be using it up before the use by date. All you have to do is put your one pound of ground turkey paste in your bowl. And you're going to take one teaspoon of salt about a half a teaspoon of fresh ground pepper. I like using the fresh ground, it to me, well it tastes fresher, but you can just use regular ground black pepper. And then you need to put a dash of red pepper in. And I just take like a generous pinch like that and put it in there. And because I'm running really late this morning, I'm using already minced, dried minced onion. I do prefer to use fresh, a quarter cup of fresh minced onion, but because today I'm in a hurry, I'm using the dried. And it really turns out just as great. Okay, then I am going to put in six tablespoons of oatmeal, and I'll, I'll put the recipe at the end of the video so you don't have to worry about jotting all this down. This is six tablespoons of rolled oatmeal. I don't use the instant oatmeal, or the one minute oatmeal, and then if you're lucky enough to have beautiful chicken eggs like I do, you're going to use two egg whites. Sometimes, oops, I accidentally let the yolk fall in there. Um, it adds a little bit of fat to the recipe because the recipe is so lean. And so I do use one yolk now. One whole egg and one egg white. Okay. I just hate throwing these yolks away. I usually will give them to the cats or something just so they're not wasted. And then, I meant to chop this up before the video. I went out and got some fresh sage from the garden. If you have fresh sage available, use one tablespoon of uh, minced fresh sage. We had a frost last night, so I feel kind of lucky to get this. Um, or use one teaspoon of rubbed sage, uh, dried rubbed sage. And all you're going to do is you're just going to mix this up like a meatloaf. And then it's going to make five patties. I used to make it into four servings. And if you're a man watching, you might want to make it, make it four servings. But for me, I make five servings out of this. So it lasts me Monday through Friday. It's my breakfast every morning. I've been doing this for months and months. I just don't get tired of it. I just don't. I love it. Um, and all you're going to do is mix it up. And I just will eat one patty this morning and then I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and then I'll grab another patty in the morning and I'm good to go. And with this I eat um, fruit every morning. And it depends on how, what kind of fruit I'm going to have. Like if I was going to have watermelon, I'd have two cups of melon to balance out the protein and the turkey. Or I'll have um, one large apple or a nice large orange with it. And that is how I start my day every day. It's a great habit. And as you can see, it's working for me. So I just want to encourage you to eat clean. It's worth it. You won't miss all that crap once you get it out of your system. All right, I promise you. You guys have a great day. As always, thanks so much for reading my dribble. And I gotta go. Bye-bye. Have a good day.